The following opinions are solely those of BoatTest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Greg for BoatTest.com. Today, we're going to conduct a full features inspection and performance evaluation on an exciting addition to the 30-foot bow rider category, the AV-36, a 38-foot outboard-powered luxury day boat from Aviara. Aviara has put the power in the hands of the consumers, so to speak, by offering the AV-36 in both inboard and outboard packages. Our test boat was equipped with triple mercury Verado 300s, turning stainless steel mercury inertia 20 inch pitch props. She had an overall length of 38 feet 6 inches, a beam of 10 feet 10 inches, and a draft of 3 feet 6 inches. With three test crew aboard, 50 pounds of gear, and 80% fuel on board, that brought her 14,550 pound dry weight up to 16,507 pounds. The freeboard height at the bow was 4 feet 6 inches, 4 feet 3 inches amidships, and 3 feet 1 inch off the transom. With the throttles down, we had a solid top speed of 55.8 miles per hour at an even 6,000 RPM. Best economical cruise came at 4,000 RPM, running at 33.7 miles per hour. At that speed, the 33.4 gallon per hour fuel burn translated into an even one mile per gallon and gave us a range of 209 statute miles. All while still holding back a 10% reserve of the boat's 214 gallon total fuel capacity. When it came time to put the hammer down, she went from 0 to 20 in 5.1 seconds, 30 in 6.9 seconds, and 40 came and went in 10.5 seconds. Plane was reached at 3600 RPM in 4.2 seconds while moving 25 miles per hour. And the AV36 has very little bow rise at all, which allowed for a clear line of sight throughout testing. When it came to handling, she swung a tight arc at any speed, and the overall handling was very responsive. From lock to lock with the helm, we counted four turns. While underway and running, it took barely any helm movement at all to get her to respond exactly how we wanted. Tucked behind a narrow mangrove water passage, we made our approach to the dock, switched over to the joystick, and eased her past the pilings into the slip. We docked both with and without the joystick just to feel her responsiveness, and we have to say, she's fun and easy to dock. And when docking, a small array of LEDs flash in a turning sequence indicating the props are turning and not to get near. The folks at Aviara tell us that one of the major features of the AV-36 is the elevated control that one feels while at the helm. This boat was designed with that powerful business person in mind, who, when gets behind the helm, will really feel that same control. When asked, Aviara said the main design goals they were looking to achieve with the AV-36 were a clean, angular look and quality finish. From the lights, cleats, and latches to the sea deck pattern, the clean, angular design is immediately noticeable and the quality is evident. The warm color scheme also warrants attention and is fully customizable. The boat's Klipsch audio system has two 11-inch subs, eight 8.5-inch eight speakers, and two digital amps to boost it all. The boat's cool feel vinyl upholstery comfortably acts as a temperature control for all those seated upon it. There's 17 inches of space from the top of the dashboard to the windscreen header. The actual windscreen measuring 8 feet 4 inches by 3 feet 3 inches, and the dashboard has an anti-glare finish. A single windscreen wiper is located directly ahead. It would be nice to see a compass here as well. The full windscreen wraps around a bit shy of the hardtop structural support and to either side, and is finished with rounded edges. This allowed us to lean out and look aft without smacking our head on anything, all while giving us access to the joystick, cleat, and fender clips. Aiding to the support of the windscreen and CNC fabricated from aluminum billets are these curved brackets. Access to the bow is via the port side. Both the wind dam and windscreen doors firmly close, sectioning off the bow from cockpit area. This passageway measuring 20 inches wide. Front and center is a hand-stitched helm on a tilt-mounted base. To port is a 10-inch systems display, a 12-inch Garmin display, and a 7-inch Simrad engine display. Push-button accessory switches are located below. Front to back are the engine start buttons, trim tab controls, engine binnacles, and a padded compartment which houses the VHF radio and when closed makes for a comfortable armrest. The Mercury joystick system comes standard with the Mercury outboards. We felt that everything was centrally located and cleanly laid out. Just below the controls are the engine start keys, VHF speaker, dual drink holders, USB port, and air vent. And here's a cool feature that we don't often see cup coolers for the captain, which, when activated, chill the twin beverage holders located just beneath the helm binnacles. The helm seat was well padded, and we had excellent all-around visibility from both the standing and seated position. 
The 3 foot 7 inch by 1 foot 6 inch double wide scalloped cockpit seat is made of cool feel vinyl. It slides forward and aft and with bolster down sits 1 foot from the front edge of the helm to the bolster. And we have to say the overall ergonomics had us feeling as if we were driving a familiar automobile rather than an unfamiliar boat. For good footing, Aviara has installed an angled non-skid foothold for the captain. Adjacent from the helm and with the same look and finish is the 1 foot 9 inch wide by 1 and a half foot deep companion seat. Lighting controls are to starboard. An 8 inch step up to a 17 inch wide passageway leads to the main cockpit area. The gunnels in this area measure 19 inches high by 7 inches wide and 39 inches high throughout the rest of the boat. The passageway decking conceals the boat fender locker. Amidships and to both sides are pull-out cleats, which are useful when single handling the boat. The fuel fills are located beneath hatches on either side and just above the beam. Continuing with the streamlined design of the AV-36, we found the ground tackle to be neatly stowed and organized. A gas-assisted strut supports the hatch while open. Beneath the hatch is a Lumar windlass, washdown pump controls, and the local windlass remote control to port. The entire inside of the locker is finished fiberglass. Pull-out cleats were both to port and starboard on the bow. The bow area is a great addition or its own private refuge from the rest of the boat. Fully cushioned, the bow seats are 20 inches deep from the top of the cap rail. There's a grab rail, speaker, drink holders, audio control, a USB port, and insulated drainable storage beneath the seat. The setup is replicated to port. The cockpit area has 7 feet 4 inches of headroom above the helm and then 6 feet 9 inches moving aft. The port companion seat converts to an aft facing chaise. The main seating area is configured in an L shape. There's no shortage of beverage holders, grab handles, nor USB ports here. All the cockpit seating conceals storage beneath. Just across we have our gourmet galley, complete with Corian countertops. The gourmet galley is a must aboard the AV36 we feel. It comes in a one or two grill option. Just beneath we have the optional refrigeration doors, and to forward is the galley sink. Just abaft is a storage compartment. All drink holders drain to a centralized location. A 110 volt outlet and speaker are just abaft. The transom seating opens up to reveal some shallow storage as well as provide access to the boat's main battery switches, fuses, as well as the shore power plugs. The centerline deck hatch to the left of the helm gives access to the hot water heater, fresh water tank, and waste discharge pump. Our main fuel shutoffs are accessed just abaft. Aviara combined aesthetics with a functional design when considering the reinforced aluminum hardtop with the AV36. The angles also add to the overall concept. There's 8.5 feet of bridge clearance. Two speakers are to either side and concealed behind an aluminum grating. The aft power retractable sunshade comes in two colors and is quick to deploy. The cabin door opens to port and is secured with strong magnets. Leading down into the cabin are three 9 inch steps. There's an optional 32 inch TV to port complete with sound bore. A microwave sits below. The single accommodations are forward. To starboard is the head with 5 feet 6 inches of seated headroom. Moving out through the cockpit we head towards the transom seating area. This section has three chaise seats, and behind them are three height-adjustable piston stools. The swim platform, like the rest of the AV-36's flooring, is a custom C-deck pattern, solely unique to the AV-36. The platform measures 10 feet 9 inches wide, the port and starboard wings both being 1 foot 10 inches wide, and even while the engines are fully trimmed, there's 10 inches of through access. Aviara designed the AV-36 with two directions in mind outfitting all the modern comforts for a cozy overnighter and building an entertainment-centered dayboat to get away from it all. And that's our full features inspection and performance evaluation of the all-new Aviara 36. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Greg.